Welcome to BTI, that's Bible Training Institute. We open the scriptures every week, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Study with us and learn how to know God as a close, intimate, and personal friend, and learn what is soon to come upon this world. God is trying to make us more and more holy until we're completely holy, hollowed, like the Sabbath. Now, my brothers and sisters, this is why it's so important. We're going to find out that the holiness is regulating everything that we do. Now, go to Isaiah 35. Let's go to Isaiah 35 quickly. Isaiah 35. Isaiah chapter 35. Are you following what I'm telling you right now? Are you following? Do we see this from Scripture? Good. Isaiah 35. This is good, brothers and sisters. I'm, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this. You're following this. This is good. Let's go to Isaiah 35. Now, guess what this way is called? Because remember, thy way, O God, thy way, thy what? Way, O God, is in where? In where? In the sanctuary. See, in the sanctuary, this is the message that no other people have but us. Now, my brothers, in this message is a progression of holiness, and the Bible calls it a way. Look at Isaiah 35, and look what the Bible calls it. Isaiah 35, let's pick up in verse 8. Isaiah 35 and verse 8, let's read that together. What does the Bible say? Verse 8. What does it say? I, I want to let you read it, but it's so good. I got to read it with you. Let me, let, me, let me read this one with you. Verse 8. What does it say? And, and, wait a minute. Hey, what? Talk to me, somebody. Hi, way. Shall be there. Praise the Lord. And, a way. And it shall be called, not only a way, it should be called the way of what? Talk to me, somebody. Holiness. I love this thing. And this is good. Man, this is good. Now, look. So this sanctuary, thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. What way? What way is in the sanctuary? The way of holiness. And that's the only way to get married to God, this way of holiness. And it's going to be so that when he's finished his work, when he stands up after the civil war and time of trouble and all that, he's going to say, let him that is unjust be unjust still. Let him that is filthy, let him be filthy still. But he that is holy... Let him be holy still. This is what God was working for. Now, my brothers and sisters, as we look at this, this is the way of holiness. And do you know that? Watch now. Holiness regulates everything that we do. Now, my brothers and sisters, what about dress? Is dress based the same way? We're going to find that the reason why God is calling us to a change in dress is because of. And do you know that in Deuteronomy 14, it is said that we could even let people eat other things that we can't eat. That we can even sometimes give it to them, but we can't eat it because they don't have the same call of holiness that we have. Holiness is what's regulating. Back up. What do these angels do? Verse 2. Verse 2 says, let's pick in verse 2. It says, above it stood, one, talk to me somebody, seraphims. Each one had what? Six wings. With twain, talk to me somebody, he covered his face. And with twain, he did what? Covered his feet. You better remember that feet. They're talking about heels, hair, and holiness. You better hold on. He covered his feet, and with twain, he did fly. That's now that's six. Two, two, and two. <laughs> now, my brothers and sisters, what was he doing? As a result of God's holiness, what were they doing? Covering themselves because of the holiness of God. Now, what I'm going to show you is that exactly what the Bible would say that modern science says. Now, this is the orthopedic foot and ankle center. In other words, this is not, they're not someone who's just making something up. Someone said, well, I don't think that my high heels do that. Have you studied the foot? No, I never studied the foot. I never even saw a foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, how in the world are you going to tell somebody who never, who has studied the thing? Now, our subject was called what? Heels, hair, and holiness. And as you know, we're not going to be able to deal with hair today. We're going to stop right here. We're going to stop right here. If you were blessed by this study and would like to be a part of the BTI, that's Bible Training Institute, simply have your Bible pen and paper handy and check out our weekly studies by logging on to molministry.com forward slash BTI. Also, tune in every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the latest Maranatha.